This video is going to help us practice drawing ray diagrams for a concave mirror. As we begin, we need to make sure that we understand that this is a concave mirror because uh, the mirror is curved towards uh, the object. This red arrow, this red arrow is going to describe or represent our object. Before we get started, we need to make sure of a couple things. We need to make sure that we understand that these two lines represent the center of curvature and the focal length or the focal point. The center of curvature would be the center of the mirror if the curve of the mirror was extended to a full circle. That's this one. Sometimes it's labeled as C. And this arrow is pointing towards the focal length. The focal length is always halfway between the center of curvature and the mirror itself. Now that we have those described, uh, there's a pattern here that we follow to draw three lines called rays uh, that will represent what happens to the uh, object as it's reflected by the concave mirror. The first line that we're going to draw goes from the object parallel to the principal axis towards the mirror. So we draw it towards the principal, parallel to the principal axis towards the mirror, and then when it reflects off of the mirror, uh, it goes through the focal focal point. So it's going to reflect back that way through the focal point. So that's going to be the first line that we're going to draw. The second line that we're going to draw, we'll use a different color for that. That'll be a red line. Uh, the second line that we're going to draw goes from the object through F towards the mirror. From the object through F towards the mirror. Once it hits the mirror, it's going to reflect, and it's going to reflect parallel to the principal axis. So we have our first two uh, rays drawn. The third, we'll use green for the third color. The third and final ray that we're going to draw is um, from the image through C, the center of curvature and it's going to reflect back upon itself uh, in the opposite direction. Through C, it's the mirror, and then actually another line would go straight back in the same direction, uh, reflecting upon itself. From there, we finally uh, see uh, that we have a spot where all three reflections are intersecting one another where all three reflections are intersecting each other, that's where the image is going to be after reflection. So what we can do is we can use another line to represent that new image. And that red arrow will represent that new image. Now if we get rid of these lines, we can focus in on what the new image looks like after reflection. And when we describe images after they've been reflected, we use some terms. Uh, first of all, you can see that, that the new red arrow is upside down, and we call that inverted. So I'm going to circle inverted to show us that the reflected image is inverted. Uh, also, the next thing we look at is whether it's larger or smaller. It is diminished. You can see it's smaller than the original red line. And then finally, is it virtual or real? Uh, because the intersection of the lines took place on the same side as the object, it is real. 